Hi everybody, welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dart, the enemy here to read you another story. And I've got such a fun book tonight. It's about a little girl with a very interesting name. The name of this book is Maple. Maple. Now, that's a maple tree. It's a really big tree. And that little girl, her name is Maple. I wonder how she got the same name as the tree. I bet that's really interesting. And we need to get into this book and find out how little Maple got the same name as a maple tree. And then we need to see what happens with Maple and her tree. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Maple. Written and illustrated by Lori Nichols. Maple loved her name. Look, there's a little girl named Maple sitting under a big tree. When she was still a whisper, her parents planted a tiny tree in her honor. Look, Mom and Dad are there and they planted a tiny little maple tree. And Mommy's pregnant. She's got a baby in her belly. And even though Flavia, Millie Jane, Lena, Lily, and Constance were all good names, Maple was the perfect fit. They named her Maple, just like the little maple tree. And as Maple grew, so did her tree. Look, she's just a little baby by a little tree, and then a bigger girl by a bigger tree. Sometimes when Maple was noisy, which was a lot, her parents sent her outside to play. Her tree didn't mind if she was loud. Maple would sing to her tree and sway for her tree and sometimes pretend to be a tree. Wow, she loves playing with her tree. On some days, when the wind was just right, Maple would simply lie under her tree and its leaves would dance just for her. Then one day, Maple noticed her tree was bare. Maple was worried her tree must, might get cold. So Maple took off her jacket and gave it to the tree to stay warm. It must be fall because all the leaves are falling off the tree. But it's okay. Maple wrapped her jacket around to keep the tree warm. Sometimes Maple wished she had someone else to play with. The tree wasn't very good at throwing snowballs. She wondered if the tree felt the same way. Hmm, does the tree get lonely sometimes? So Maple introduced her tree to a friend. She made a snowman. But that friendship didn't last. The snowman melted. But Maple and her tree still had each other. <gasps> Through winter, and through spring. Then one day, something surprising happened. Huh, looks like somebody planted another little tree. Oh, then something really surprising happened. Mommy has another baby in her belly. Maple's gonna be a big sister. Maple became a big sister. Look, she's got a little baby. Maple tried to be a good big sister. If the baby was cold, Maple gave the baby her hat and gloves. If the baby was lonely, Maple would share her special friends. But Maple couldn't always make the baby happy. And when the baby was noisy, which was a lot, Maple would take her outside to play. And something magical happened. Look, now there's a little tree and Maple's big tree. Maple's tree danced for them both. She's sharing her tree with her baby sister. And there was just enough room under the tree for Maple and her little sister Willow. Oh, they planted a willow tree for the new baby and named her Willow. Oh, that was a really great book. I really like Maple. 
And now I understand where she got her name. Her parents planted a maple tree when they found out they were going to have a baby. And then they thought that was the perfect name for her. And she loved her maple tree. And it grew and she grew. And then she had a baby sister. And they planted another tree, a willow tree. So what did they name that baby? Willow. What a great way to name a baby. Plant a tree, name a baby. I like this, but what I especially like is how Maple and Willow became such wonderful friends and sisters. Maple really loves her little sister and she's learned to share her trees and everything that she's learned. That's what big sisters do. This was a really good book. I like Maple and I think I'm going to like Willow. I'm going to have to go see if there's any more books out there about Maple and Willow because I think that they're going to be the best of friends. You know, that's the thing about having a sister or a brother right there in your house. You have a best friend right there. Somebody you can play with and talk to and teach Teach things to. If you're a big sister or you're a big brother, that's your job. It's your job to help mom and to play with your little sister or brother and to watch over them. It's a big job, but it's a great job because that person is going to be your very best friend. I'm super happy for all of you that have a little brother or a little sister in your house that you can love and help with, even if they're not named after a tree, but that's okay. But now it's time for all my little friends to get Get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, when you're playing with your sister or brother, be nice. Remember, it's your job to help take care of them. And whatever mom and dad need you to help with, whatever you do, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.